In today's video, we're going to look at questions like these, where you're trying to rearrange the equations to get a particular letter by itself. Or in other words, to make a particular letter the subject of the equation. The important thing to notice with these ones though, is that the subject that we're trying to find appears more than once, which makes it a bit harder to rearrange. If you haven't done many of these before, they do take a bit of getting used to. So just try to do as many as you can, and you'll slowly get used to the method. We're going to start with this one on the right, and slowly explain every step. The first thing that you always want to do with these questions is to get rid of any fractions or brackets, so that we just have a bunch of terms that are being added or subtracted from each other. So for this question, which doesn't have any fractions, we just need to get rid of the brackets by expanding them both out. On the left, that gives us 5 times x, which is 5x, and 5 times minus 3, which is minus 15. Then on the right, we do 4y times 1 to get 4y, and 4y times minus 3x to get minus 12xy. So if we look at our equation, we now have four different terms and they're all being added and subtracted from each other, with no brackets or fractions. At this point, we can move on to step 2, where we have to collect all the subject terms on one side of the equation, and all of the non-subject terms on the other side. Now, that's a bit of a complicated sentence, so let's break it down. A subject term is just any term that has the subject letter in it. So because we're trying to make x the subject, any term with an x in it will be a subject term. So out of our four terms, the 5x and the 12xy will both count as subject terms. Then a non-subject term is just any term that doesn't have the subject letter in it. So the 15 and the 4y. So really, we want the 5x and 12xy on one side of the equation, and the 15 and 4y on the other side. It doesn't matter which side is which though, so let's just go with the subject terms on the left, and non-subject terms on the right, which will involve moving the 12xy term to the left side, and the 15 to the right side. To move the 12xy, we're going to have to add 12xy to both sides, leaving us with just 4y on the right, and giving us 5x minus 15 plus 12xy on the left. And then to move over the 15, we just add 15 to both sides, giving us 5x plus 12xy equals 4y plus 15. Now that we have all the subject terms on one side, and all the non-subject terms on the other side, we can move on to step 3, which is where we factorise the subject terms to take out the subject letter. So that just means factorise these two terms to take out the common factor of x, which would be x, and then in brackets, 5 plus 12y. And that would still be equal to 4y plus 15. Then finally, the very last step that we have to do is to divide both sides by the bracket that we just formed to get the subject letter by itself. So in this case, that means divide both sides by the 5 plus 12y to get x by itself on the left, equaling 4y plus 15 over 5 plus 12y. And at this point, we don't really need these brackets anymore, so we can get rid of them. And this here is our final answer, as we've now rearranged it all so that x is the subject of our equation. Let's try one more using the same steps from before. In this one, we're trying to make b the subject. So we want to end up with b equals something. Just like before, the first step is to get rid of any fractions or brackets. And this time we only have a fraction. So to get rid of the divided by b minus 5 part, we need to multiply both sides by b minus 5. So on the left, we'll get a, 
and then in brackets b minus 5 because remember we're multiplying the a by the entire b minus 5 and on the right we'll just have the 2 minus 7b. Now even though we just got rid of our fraction we're still on step 1 because we now have a bracket. So we're going to have to expand the bracket by multiplying the a by the b to give us ab and by the minus 5 to get minus 5a. And remember that this still all equals 2 minus 7b. Next, we can move on to step 2. So we collect all the subject terms that have a b in them on one side and all of the other non-subject terms on the other side. So if we decided to put the subject terms on the left again, then we'd need to move the 7b over to the left and the 5a over to the right. To move the 7b, we need to add 7b to both sides, which would give us ab minus 5a plus 7b equals 2. And then to move the 5a over, we need to add 5a to both sides to get ab plus 7b equals 2 plus 5a. Now that we have our subject terms on the left, we can move on to step 3 and factorize them to take out that common factor of b. So we'd get b, and then in brackets, a plus 7 equals 2 plus 5a. And then finally for step 4, we just divide both sides by the a plus 7 to find that b equals 2 plus 5a divided by a plus 7. And that's it. One thing I want to add before we finish is that sometimes you might not need to follow these exact steps because some questions are a bit different. But this technique that we've been using will work for most of the questions you'll come across. And there isn't really a better technique that works for everything. So really, you just need to practice lots of questions and really understand the algebra that you're using. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.